Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a project with a transparent background. This could be used to create a video overlay with animated effects for example. Let's set the size to 1080p, that's 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. And because we don't want to see anything around the periphery of the window, let's make it non-resizable, borderless and full screen. And under per pixel transparency, we'll check the boxes for allow and enabled. In our environments, we should set the background to a green screen. This will be used for chroma keying later in our video editing software. Since we want to animate things, we'll add an animation player node to our scene. Let's bring an image into our scene and place it in the middle of the window. Since it's green, I'm going to go back into project settings and set the background color to blue for a blue screen for better contrast. Now let's run it, check it's working. Okay, that's great. To close the window, for now, we're going to have to tab around our open applications and find the Godot editor and then close it from there. So now we're going to have to add a script to our project. And in the ready function, we're going to get tree, get root, and then set the transparent underscore BG property to true. That will allow us to have a transparent background. So now when we hit the play button, we do indeed have a transparent background. And we still can't click on the close button because it's hidden. So we will override the input function and add some codes to allow us to press say the escape key to close the application. Because we're not going to use the event input value, we're going to uh, prefix that with an underscore. That will avoid us having error messages of an unused uh, variable. Now let's write if input dot is action just pressed and select the UI underscore cancel signal. Then we will enter get tree and use the dot quit function. So now we can run our application again and we can close it by pressing on the escape key. Now let's animate our sprite. Let's click on the animation player and create a new animation and call it move text. This puts some keys next to our properties of the sprite, allowing us to keyframe the position, rotation and scale. Let's change the duration to two seconds. and keyframe the position, keyframe the scale, and keyframe the modulation value for the color so that we can fade it out. Now move to the start of the animation track and we will reposition our sprite and change its scale and visibility and then keyframe these values in at the start of the animation track. Now we can play our animation to check it out. It seems a bit slow, so let's change the two second duration back to one second. And move the keyframe points back to the one second marker. Now when we play it back, it's faster, so it's pretty good now. Uh, if we extend the duration again to two seconds, we can add some more keyframes to make it fade out at the end. So that should be fine. Let's try it out with the window shrunk and 
that's good excellent so when we finished we can go back to using our blue screen so to do that we just put a, a parse statement before our transparency command in the ready function and then we can capture this with a say screen capture software and we can try it with our green screen background and don't forget to hit that like button there we go okay that's a wrap for today's video and I hope to see you again soon goodbye